Derek Jeter is one of the most popular and iconic baseball players of all time. He was largely known, of course, for his play on the field, but also for the persona he put off, not being hated really by anybody. The only thing opposing fans hated about Derek Jeter was when he would be productive on the field against their team. He wasn't looked at as a jerk like his teammate A-Rod was, and Jeter will forever be a Yankees legend. Manny Ramirez is also a legend, but for Jeter's team's rival, the Boston Red Sox. Manny was completely different from Jeter in a sense where he was always kind of looked at as a goofball. Some may have called him lazy at times, with the saying Manny being Manny running rampant in Boston for years. With that being said, the dude could hit. He was a steroid user, sure, but like Barry Bonds, Manny Ramirez was naturally gifted at hitting baseballs, and there's no getting around that. Manny also seems to have just called out Derek Jeter, but he has a point. There has been talk since his retirement for years now of the question if Derek Jeter is overrated, and the way I answer that is this. His offensive game was not at all overrated, but as far as his defense went, he is statistically one of the worst defenders of all time. But for his legacy, what we mostly remember are his biggest and most clutch hits, many during October and even some in November. Like I said, Manny Ramirez was very different from Derek Jeter, but there is one thing that they both had in common, and that is that, like Jeter, Manny wasn't great defensively either. But that's beside the point. Manny Ramirez was just recently inducted into the Red Sox Hall of Fame, and during Monday night's game against the Detroit Tigers at Fenway, Manny made his way into the broadcast booth with former teammate Kevin Millar and retired Red Sox and baseball pitching legend Dennis Eckersley. They talked about a number of things during Manny's time there, but the topic of playing in a bigger market and why it matters came up, and Manny made some interesting points. Eckersley mentioned how playing in a bigger market comes with a lot of pressure, which of course is true, but Manny mentioned that in his own experience, experience, although playing in a bigger market can be tough, going from a smaller market town like Cleveland to Boston helped push him to his full potential. Going on to say if that you haven't played in Boston or New York, you're not in the big leagues. He then brought up Derek Jeter, mentioning how if you took a player like him and put him on the Royals instead of the Yankees for the 20 years he played, he's just a quote unquote regular player. This isn't even an insult to Jeter. I mean, sure, you can kind of take it that way if you want, but what Manny's trying to say is that part of what made a guy like Derek Jeter so iconic, popular, and successful was the fact that he played in the biggest market in arguably all of sports, and came through in big moments. No disrespect to the Royals, but it really is true. During Derek Jeter's entire career, the Kansas City Royals never once made the postseason until 2014, the year Jeter played in his final season. So take a small market team and city like Kansas City, make them a losing team for 30 years, and now add Derek Jeter on that team. Sure, they would have been a little bit better with a player like Jeter, but they still would have been bad, and as a result, Jeter wouldn't have been nearly as well known or played to his full potential like Manny Ramirez. Realistically, if Derek Jeter started his career on the Royals, he probably would have either been traded or signed a big contract with another team, with that team maybe even being the Yankees. But the point is that being in a bigger market like New York or Boston undoubtedly helps you if you're successful, like it did Jeter and like it did Manny. It takes stars and turns them easily into superstars. Being successful in those big markets means you're meant for the big moment, and that's what Manny Ramirez is talking about. Did he kinda insult Derek Jeter along with the Kansas City Royals along the way and conveying that message? Sure, again, if you want to look at it that way, but it's a very good point coming from Manny Ramirez, who also said, quote, it makes you better because you've got to be ready because they will let you know. They will let you know when you're not right. To be honest with you, when I was with Cleveland, I was playing and I was a good player, but when I came to Boston, I got better because the fans. They will let you know that you weren't playing right. They push you. End quote. Take a guy like Aaron Judge, who I think could end up being a better player than Jeter when it's all said and done, and put him in Oakland. No disrespect to Oakland and their team, but Judge is obviously not being looked at as a potential face of baseball if he's an Oakland A. He is if he's a New York Yankee. The same applies for Jeter, who was looked at as the face of the game for years, but wouldn't have been if he was a Royal. And the same applies to Manny Ramirez. He wouldn't be as popular if he wasn't a Red Sox player. Let me know what you think about Manny Ramirez's comments, and thank you for watching.